We can film from one side of the grass, right? So it looks like we're on the canoe, scooting along, like paddling That's a and nice stuff. Idea, Ethan. And then, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like talking about. And then we we film from the other side of the grass, and we slowly pan up to reveal that we're on land or crane up, I suppose. So we're cooking burgers. This is our lunch, and then after lunch, we're gonna do some filming with the Subaru without back. Oh, in my eyeballs. We got two very puffy mismatched batteries in series. And this, my friends, is the land canoe. Wow, so majestic, so beautiful. I don't know if we're gonna make it. Iceberg ahead. This is Henry's first time in the land canoe. <laughs> it's harder than it looks. So the land canoe idea started out last summer when I built this two by six electric skateboard plank with handles and seats that could hold two people. And I called it the land canoe, even though it wasn't actually a canoe, but then that sparked the idea for actually making a canoe with skateboard trucks that could drive on land. Got some Harbor Freight tires. You got your vibration isolator. We just filmed all that with Moby Carbon here. The ironic thing is this camera and gimbal together cost about as much as 45 of these cars. <laughs> <laughs> if this car were worth a thousand dollars, which I don't know. And the impressive thing is that the video looked as good as it did, despite the fact that it's hard mounted to this car. There's no vibration isolation going on here. And you can imagine this car is not the smoothest thing it's ever. Very smooth, thank you. Got interaxes going on. Look at those. Yeah, this is a, this is a six axis gimbal, uh, sorry, five axis gimbal. So yeah, that goes to show how good the five axis stabilization works. And then over here we have the Movi controller and that's how you control the camera and gimbal. So what makes it five axis, you can see how the, the lens is still even when I move around the outer three axes. Get demo mode. This is a demo mode that moves the outer three axes around when the inner axis is still stable. So you can tell that the image is actually perfectly stable because the reflection in the lens is perfectly stable. How neat is that? The camera inside of the shroud there is a Panasonic GH5S with a Fujinon 20 to 120 millimeter lens. So the problem right now is that there's only three of us and the Subaru without back is a proper camera car. It's a proper Russian arm. And you need uh, four people here to really get this job done and there's only three of us. So we're just gonna prop the crane up and get the camera up higher and then tie it off in the back so that it doesn't really move. We won't have anybody operating the crane unfortunately but it's the best we can do for now. Your car's a little rusty, Ethan. <laughs> it's also kind of moldy. There's like mold you spots. It's so fine. Hello? What are you what are you doing? I'm uh tightening down the collar. It'll hold all these weights. What are the weights for? They balance this whole thing. So this is completely balanced with the movie carbon on it. We've got the vibration isolator that you saw in the last video um, in the back here, but we don't need it because movie carbon is so good. What are these ropes are these for, ropes Ethan? <laughs> Hold on my EVAP system from dangling on the ground. Ooh, look at that. Get out of the Got carbon up high. Now we just gotta tie this crane in place with Tyler's toe strap. That was a pretty steep angle. Wow, yeah. this is a very versatile crane. I don't know if you can tell, but Ethan made this himself. He didn't even buy it. <laughs> can you tell? <laughs> That's beautiful. Wanna do it? Yeah.
so now we're out here at the flying field and we are just going to drive over bumpy grass with the Subaru without back and we're gonna see if the footage from carbon looks good or not. It's my nice carabiner setup. Safety, safety yeah. first. Safety third. Did that show up? No. Did that no, show it's up? dead stable. That is crazy. That is crazy. What? <laughs> It's so bumpy, but it's so smooth. All you can see is the translation. You can't see any rotational disturbance. That is absolutely wild. Look at the like the level indicator and the camera is just going crazy. Yeah. That is blowing my mind. Oh. Look at that. <laughs> like, it's it's solid, going like, all over the Four place. foot of displacement. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, it's all that. It's all that. You know, I spent like six months of my life testing this thing, and this is still blowing my mind. Yeah, <laughs> it's really so good. Well, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> that was very much fun. Catch on the flip side. What is this? This, this is the land canoes maiden voyage. Oh, stand on the back though. Oh yeah. Because then I can't control the lean angle. Oh, oh shit! Yes, I can. <laughs> I think the person, like, you just need one person to steer. Land though. canoe. <laughs> Look at it go. Oh, this is prime. <laughs> Are we going this way? We're going this way. I need the skateboard. We need the scooter. I need, we need the scooter. A, we need a scooter. Ah, you run. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's that's incredible. Okay. He definitely didn't almost hit us, but... Did you just do this on Saturday? Yeah, it took me like an hour and a half to build. Oh, yeah. It's like the greatest thing ever. Got a little a little joystick throttle right here. You got forward and regen or backwards. Control it with your thumb when you hold on to the, to the board. I got most of this wood out of the free wood pile over there. <laughs> it's pretty great. It's got one torque boards motor and an ARC 200 motor drive. And I think we need some more trucks because the turning is a little too loose. Oh, don't do that! <laughs> You're gonna give me more warning on this thing. Holy shit! Go right! 
right underneath. This is the, what is this? Is this the land canoe? You can just take a nap too, like this. <laughs> We need to build a double wide version so two people can lay down <laughs> next to each other and ride together. That's true. That would be so great. Like where they both lean? Well, we were, yeah, <laughs> with weight pictures. We <laughs> oh, that's it. Oh, there we go. That's it.